What's up, guys? We're here at the Printing Night at Expo at the x Right booth with Jay. How's it going, Jay? Not too bad. What's going with you? Good. Jay, I'm a very big believer. If you own a DTF printer, yep. you should invest in a spectrum photometer. And really, if you own a digital printer, a lot of the ones out there, yeah. you should invest in one because we have digital print heads, whether it be CMYK, red, green, blue, orange, and so yep. forth. Yep. It's like the example I like to use these days is it's like a cooking show with having all these ingredients, yep. but not having a recipe of, oh, you know, you only need that much salt. Instead, we're just grabbing a handful of salt, throwing it on there, like, oh, that'll be good. Sure, and, sure. And it's like, you can have the best cut of meat. That's your printer. And then you over-season it and you've ruined it. Right. That's yep. what color profiling and having a spectrophotometer allows us to do, is dial in colors and come with formulas. Absolutely. Right? It, well, it, it allows you to take, a, um, take your device and your substrate and determine what is the uh, 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 what we characterize the, both the instrument and the substrate together? So you know when you send signals to your printer, you get a predictable output. Um, so you know this device is all about basically taking output from your device, measuring it in, and, and this uh, uh, the software you're using will know what signals it sent to the printer to make those patches. You read them in, and it says okay, and it produces this color and then it can kind of get a lookup table so it knows, hey, if you want to achieve this particular signal in this color, you have to modify that signal, right? So it's just a, uh, it's, it's, it's a lookup table, but it gives you some control over the print to get closer to what you're expecting, you know, overall. Well, when so. you're mixing, you know, CMYK, I, one thing I didn't realize, CMYK mixing for sublimation versus CMYK mixing for DT, yeah, it's not the same. No, there's not There's different pigments and there's different ways well, and absolutely. different brands and manufacturers of inks when if you change consumables. When you're talking CMYK, you're talking device independent or device dependent color. So whatever the printer is, it's going to be different. CMYK is not what you really want to talk about. You want to talk about LAB and spectral um, response for, from the uh, um, from a spectrophotometer, and that's what this is. It's a spectrophotometer. It deals with the visible spectrum. It divides up um, the visible spectrum into 31 slices for each and every one of these patches, and then it can generate um, LAB numbers that um, are ultimately used to modify your output. So you're talking about device-independent colors. Well, so translated those, into device-dependent. For those who don't know, what we first do is we we need to see where we're at. We need to yep. we need to create we need to print some charts it. of where we are currently at. So we're going to yep. print those out. And what I bought was the iBasic Pro 3 Plus. There's a lot going on in that. There's thing. a lot going on. Um, I really like this. Around two thousand dollars, give or take a couple hundred. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole kit, great tool. If you're looking to make it just a little bit quicker, there's nothing better here other than quickness. Is that right. correct? Absolutely, because a lot of times you have a lot of patches to cover, and to do it manually can be really frustrating. So be able to walk away, kind of have it done for you. Um, that, that's that's the best. And uh, you know, getting into a table like this isn't uh, that expensive. Um, so what are you looking at for one of these uh, Pro Threes? Um, you know what? I don't have pricing, so I may have to grab that Let's after. Go on, okay? but. So. X right guys. Yep. Why I'm a big believer in going with X right yep. is because of Pantone. Yep. Pantone is the dictionary for colors. It is. Correct? They're yep. the Webster's yep. dictionary for colors. So why would you not go with them? So so give us just one more little like what does x right do that just, hey, if you're looking for a spectrophotometer, or why you should spend the $2,000 to just give yourself that peace of mind? Because DTF, for example, guys, print heads don't lay down the same amount of ink over time. Humidity changes, temperature changes. You want to be continuously looking at your colors, not yep. just the first time that it was installed and think it's going to exactly. be the same forever. Exactly. Yeah, all those conditions you mentioned are going to change the, the, uh, the color output. So you want to be on top of it at all times. Um, you also don't you want to go visually and you want to make sure things look good but measurement is still your best bet because this instrument won't be affected by um, the things that your eyes are affected yep. by. Adjacent colors, the lighting in the room and all that. You can take a measurement, you can get the value and you can yep. see exactly where you stand and you have to, if you have to do something repetitively like you know output the same job you did last week, this week, this is the only way to go to actually confirm that hey I've got the color right, and it can, it, it's it's uh, equivalent to what we did last week within whatever tolerance you've decided, and so the customer, you know, will be happy. So, doing it visually, all you really have is, hey, it looked good last week, but it's not really proof of, you know, 
And this technology can be used for really with any digital printer, right? Ecosolvent, sublimation, yeah, DTF, DTG. Yep. And, and like he said as well, when we did it for DTF, it's about the substrate. If I'm worried about paper printing, yeah, I'm gonna print on the cardstock that we need to color profile with. Yep. Versus if we're gonna go on to a t-shirt, yep. we're gonna print our chart, press in the shirt, because we wanna look at that final color on yep. the substrate. Absolutely, it's, it's, it, that's where it matters, right? Rubber hits the road. It's uh, the, the, the color of whatever the substrate is, is the fifth color or, or whatever number color, but it's an, an additional color and it affects everything above it. You know, that's, that's, that's placed on top of it. So you gotta, you gotta be aware of it, you gotta, calibrate to each and every substrate, whether it be fabric or whatever. So. Does x ray sell the equipment directly or do you go through a dealer? Because I went uh, through a dealer to get mine. Both. Both. Yep, yep. We do direct, we do dealer, we do retail. So all, all of the above. Very cool. Well, guys, I, again, I, this is what I own. It was worth the $2,000 every single bit. Garth has linearized our print. You can color profile yep. with it. Yep. So color profile, I'm going to build the whole thing from the ground up. or what you often only need to do is your manufacturer will give you a color profile already. What you need is you need to linearize it. Yep. You need to dial that color in for your environment because yep. even the elevation of where you're located can change the way colors output. Absolutely. Linearization is just that step that you put onto your printer to make sure it's repeatable. Then you can put that profile on top of it. And as long as you return that linearization, you're in good shape. But guys, especially DTF, whip this thing out every few months. I mean. There's all types of variables. Even the consumables change, and we aren't mm. told. Yep. And, and all of us, oh, wait, by the way, we changed yep. that coating, and now my color looks a little different. Yep, yep, That's yep. why you invest in this. Absolutely. Yep. So, guys, I, I, I keep talking about it, but x right Pantone, that's the reason you buy the x right in my opinion. Yep. Pantone is the, the key there. Um, check out their lineup of spectrophotometers, and uh, also look at some of your favorite uh, screen printing, digital printing uh, dealers, because they might uh, be selling this technology as well through uh, for x -Rite. But guys, definitely look into it. Thank you so much, Jay. Hey, thanks so much. Glad to talk All right, take care.